Hi guys, this is a pop-up video and I am coming to you because I have been waiting for three stores to open here in town. Ross, Home Goods, and Burlington Coat Factory. They're all new. Two of them had their grand opening, Ross and Burlington Coat Factory, so you can bet I beat it over there fast this morning. As you all know, Ross prices, you can't beat. They're just, they're so good. So you guys, I made out like a bandit. I did, I did. So if you guys like haul videos, uh, stick with me. I'm gonna share with you a whole bunch of fun finds for spring 2022. They're not necessarily bunnies and spring stuff, but it was in their spring collections at these stores. If you don't like haul videos, I suggest you skip this video. This is a decor channel and the money I make off my channel, I put back into my channel to share with you the latest finds. So anyway, that's why I do these haul videos. So stick with me. I've got some fun, cute things to share. By the way, it is raining cats and dogs this morning and I look like a drowned rat. Like my poof, like it got complete. I just got demolished by rain. So yeah, it is what it is today. Look what I found. I love this moss bunny with the little greenery kind of sticking off of the bunny. Now I will probably change out the ribbon to something a little more cute. And it was only $10.99, $10.99 you guys, and he's good size. So, but imagine him with a cute um, bow or even a cute tassel, like just kind of like dropped. It would be adorable in any display. I share prices because if you like what you see, you can run right over there. Now with Amazon, I don't share prices because number one, you're not supposed to. And uh, number two, the, the prices always fluctuate and change day to day, sometimes hour to hour. So I don't bother doing that with Amazon. I just link everything. By the way, if you see something you like, most oftentimes I will link similar items in Amazon if you don't want to go to the store. So just keep that in mind. But check this out. I found this in the garden section at Ross. It's so cute. It's distressed. It's white. You could place this, you could place this outdoors on your patio set and do a cute spring display. You could do this in the house, which is probably what I will do. You could set the bunny on it and uh, put some Easter eggs, a pretty candle. It's just a nice, tidy way to do a display without having it look cluttered. And if you need to pick it up and move it, you know, because it's a centerpiece or something, it's easy to do. This is a good size piece, and this was only $12.99. $12.99, guys. As you guys know, I'm into shelves, I'm into risers, I'm into cutting boards, I'm into just all kinds of different things this year. And I am finding lots and lots of ways to decorate with these items. When you find something you love, buy more of it and use it in a number of different ways. That's how I look at it. Why buy just one and only be able to use it one way in one area? So if you like it and you love it and the price is right, buy a few more. But I found this shelf and it was only $12.99 at Ross. If you guys can see. And I have seen a lot of people decorating with these in their kitchens. Let me show you. Here's a prime example. So here I have a little board, footed board, and I've made a cute display out of it. And if I wanted to do something different, I could use this shelf. So for maybe spring or summer, if I wanted a lighter, brighter look, I may take this shelf. It looks like this, you guys. You can hang it on the wall or use it on your countertop and do something like this. Okay, that was something just super quick that I threw together to show you that if you have an area that you don't really need to use as prep surface, you could do something cute like this to throw up a cute display in your kitchen. So, like I said, you have options with shelves. Don't think they're just for the wall. 
So I have been looking and looking for some really cute kitchen canisters to throw my almond flour and coconut flour in. And I was in the kitchen aisle of Ross and I'm like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And I've seen these on Amazon, but they're smaller in scale and I wanted a bigger one. So it's just a glass jar with a sealed wood lid and the wood lid is gorgeous. It's really pretty. So even if I wanted to do a cute kitchen display in the kitchen, I mean, I could set this on the countertop and place these two wood ones next to each other to put my uh, almond flour and coconut flour in. And it would be a cute display. So check out this beautiful wreath I found at Ross. It was $24.99, super pretty. I, I just love daisies. They're so cheerful and pretty and cute. And when I start bringing out my bunnies, it's gonna be beautiful. Do I need to tell you that I got another cutting board? I did, I did, I just, I can't help myself. And the price was right. This was only $9.99 and look at the detail on this side. It's got the beaded trim all the way around. And I just thought, that's darling, I have to have it. And for the price, why not? And then right next to it was this cute bowl that is also beaded but I hope you guys can see the wood. It's really pretty. And I thought if I was gonna place this bowl on a table with a display, I would probably do some sort of a pretty candle. For example, you could take a bowl like this, right? Place a little boxwood wreath on top. You can get these on Amazon, by the way. And then take a pretty candle and put it right in the center and then place it on it on the table. You can still see the beaded trim, you know, and I think it's a pretty, pretty look. Or just take the boxwood wreath away and you could do some like bowl filler scatter uh, right around this and then place your candle in the center, place it on any table and it would be really pretty. I came across this and I thought, how unique, how different. I loved that it's it's really, really soft wood, and I love that it's imperfect, that it's, it's, I like the fact that it's imperfect. I think it gives it visual interest, and I love the little feet on it. And you guys, this was only $13.99. I mean, their prices are so good, you guys. I've been on the hunt for rustic vases, and then I found this one, it was only $10.99. I mean, like I said, you cannot beat the price, you guys. But um, it's distressed. See, there's the price. It's really pretty. So I, I'm gonna do something with this for spring. So right now I'm currently really loving the neutrals with the whites. I, I just love it. So when I saw this cake stand that's marble and then wood on the sides with the wood base, I went, oh! <gasps> That's so pretty. That would look great in the kitchen. And it was only $14.99. So it's really pretty and, and it's very heavy. And then I found this footed marble piece. It was only $5.99. That's it, you guys. For a bathroom or kitchen, this is really, really pretty. Um, you know, see right there? Hold on. Here's an example. So if you're if you have this in your kitchen, you can place your hand soap and your little scrubbing brushes on this little, this marble tray. And I think it looks adorable. It's really cute. You could also use this in a kitchen and put your salt and pepper shakers, your olive oil, and set it in a corner or next to your stove top. And that makes a cute display. Okay, so that was it for Ross. Now we're gonna move into Burlington Coat Factory. Oops, last item. I got this also at Ross. I'm gonna be putting this in a basket, but this was $34.99. And you know, it's a good size palm plant. I'm gonna be putting this in my husband's office, but I thought this was a great deal. I'm gonna jump to Home Centric just for one item and then I'll show you the rest at the very end. Um, I found this really cute basket there. It was 
And I'm gonna put this in the basket. It just, um, it goes better with my decor and I like the basket look uh, better than the black. So yeah, I think this is gonna look really cute in his office. Okay, so at Burlington, I was thinking of putting this on my cute little uh, Rustic Imports hutch and I like these cute little handles. Unfortunately, I don't have a price. There's no price on it and I can't remember what it was, but it's cute. I found this beautiful candle holder and I loved the color. It's neutral and I thought I thought I'd put a candle or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I always, I don't always use candle holders as they're intended to be used for candles. Sometimes I do garden balls. Sometimes I do vases and it was only $9.99. Then I found this cute plant with the roping detail around it. It's neutral. so. And it's texture to me, you know, which I love. And it was only $9.99. So I thought if I didn't like this, I could always put it in a cute basket or pot. But honestly, I like the texture. But it'll be cute for spring and summer. Welcome home. It's huge. And it's got the rubber mat on the back. And I'm thinking of throwing this on my back patio because we got new patio uh, furniture this last weekend. And we did some landscaping. And so... I think this is gonna look really cute back there. And then I got this huge hurricane vase for $10.99. I, I looked at the price, I'm like, get out of town. I have seen these in so many other places for 30 plus dollars. So when I saw $10.99, I was like, sold. For Easter and spring, you can put some bowl filler in here, put a ginormous candle. You can do a number of things or just fill it with um, garden balls. If you wanted to place this in a kitchen, you could fill it with lemons, limes, artichokes. Um, and Hobby Lobby has a section for faux fruit. That would be really pretty too. Now these aren't fancy schmancy uh, dog bowls or anything, but they're practical. So I got this one for Bentley, they match, and this one for little Ralphie, because their bowls keep moving and it's driving me nuts. So I thought I'll get something that sits off the ground and that'll work better. The large one is $14.99 and the smaller one is $12.99. Then I got a waste scooper because I need one of these desperately in the backyard. Now moving on to home centric, look what I found. I found this cute sign. It was only $7.99, home sweet home. I'm super into these. Um, I have a small one, so I, when I saw this, I grabbed it. And this was only $14.99. And you can do a number of things with these, with your displays. Like you could put it in a kitchen and I think it would be really pretty to take some uh, American moss and kind of like spread it out in here and then throw in your faux artichokes. It would be so pretty for spring and summer. I love finding unique items and I found this uh, lamp. It's a cage lamp on the bottom and then it's a white shade on the top and this was $29. And I thought this would look really cool in my husband's office. You'll see that coming up. We're going to be styling his office. We're going to be adding shelves, artwork, pottery. It's going to be different for me. My next item was probably the biggest splurge. And the only reason I decided to get it is because I have been in that store probably five times. And every time I go there, I pass this up. But I always walk by, stare at it, thinking I would love to have that in my kitchen with a beautiful arrangement for spring and summer. And so today I went and they only had two left. And I'm like, I better grab it before it's gone. So look at this huge vessel it's white, it's a little distressed, and it was $49. Much more than I wanted to pay, but look at the size of it, it's huge. Okay, I have three more items and then that's it. I found this at Homecentric. It's this huge vase 
and it's sort of speckled, it's distressed, it's white, it's it's the beige, it's the neutrals, and then you can add a pop of color. You can have some greenery spill out the side. I liked it so much, I got two, but they're big. The price, the price, you guys, $12.99, $12.99. And my very last item is a big lantern. I thought it was so beautiful. It again has the beaded detail and it's got a rustic metal distress top, if you can see. And so when you look at the two together, it looks really pretty. So I have some ideas on how I'm gonna display this. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned, but I love this, super cute. Anyway, can you see how pretty that vase is? I just, I love it. I love it. And I have so many ideas running through my head with what kind of florals I want to put in it. So anyway, I hope you guys liked my haul. Again, I, I've been saving my money for these, uh, these two grand openings. I just couldn't wait to go. And um, I guess they've been open several days. I didn't even know it. So I got showered and clean up and out the door I went. So I can't wait to decorate with these items very soon. So stay tuned and I will see you guys Wednesday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and I love you guys. Mwah. See you Wednesday. Mm -hmm.